sum of the digits of a three digit number is a perfect cube find the sum of its digits three statements there let me see how many of you get the answer to this one chalo enough time has been given i knew this would need some time and there will be a lot of confusion among you guys let's look at the solution so here's the question on data sufficiency the question statement is this the sum of the digits of a three digit number is a perfect cube find the sum of its digits the sum of the digits of a three digit number is a perfect cube find the sum of its digits so let's assume the three digit number the three digit number that we are referring to here is you know abc it's abc he says find the sum of its digits meaning a plus b plus c is equal to what by the way the point given in the question is that the sum of the digits is a perfect cube meaning a plus b plus c is a perfect cube a plus c b plus c is a perfect cube so what are the possible values a plus b plus c should be a perfect cube what are the perfect cubes 1 8 27 16 4 right 125 and so on right remember one in uh, one one underlying point here is that a b and c a b and c belongs to what values 0 to 9 a can be between 0 to 9 b also can be between 0 to 9 c also can be between 0 to 9 right right meaning all three of them a b c can take any value from 0 1 2 3 and so on up to 9 all three cannot be zero because if all three are zero then it becomes 0 0 0 it's it's a single digit number we want it to be a three digit number so a cannot be zero basically a cannot be zero sorry so b and c can be between 0 to 9 a uh, will be between 1 to 9 a can be between 1 to 9 you, you understand a can be any value between 1 to 9 b and c can be any value between 0 to 9 right yeah so that's the point b or c can be 1 2 3 and so on up to 9 a can be sorry b and c can be from 0 to 9 i i hope you are able to understand this let me just redo the part yeah so the question here says the sum of the digits of a three digit number is a perfect cube find the sum of its digits right now there is a three digit number the sum of its digits is a perfect cube he is asking us to find the sum of the digits three digit numbers let's assume is abc like i said he is asking us to get what is a plus b plus c a plus b plus c is equal to what what we know here is a plus b plus c is equal to a perfect cube a plus b plus c is equal to perfect cube which means it can be 1 8 27 64 125 and so on you have to understand the point that a b c all are digits a is a digit it can be anywhere between 1 2 3 and so on up to 9 a cannot be zero because if a is zero this becomes a two digit number right a cannot be zero a has to be 1 to 9 anywhere between 1 to 9 b and c can be anywhere from 0 to 9 0 1 2 3 and so on up to 9 so this is the point which is hidden in the question here it's not given explicitly but you got to understand that a will be from 1 to 9 and b is going to be from b and c are going to be from 0 to 9 sorry right now what is the sum of the digits what is the sum of the digits understand even before i look at the statements even before i look at 1 2 and 3 you should understand that the sum of the digits cannot be a plus b plus c cannot be more than 27 it cannot be 64 or 125 or anything like that it can be 1 or 8 or 27 why am i saying so understand the maximum value of a b c can be 9 the maximum that a can take is 9 maximum b and c can also take is 9 so i can say a plus b plus c maximum can be what 9 plus 9 plus 9 27 the maximum sum can be 27 so meaning the sum being 64 125 216 343 and all that is ruled out the sum maximum sum can be 27 what will be the minimum sum a plus b plus c minimum in a similar fashion minimum see i know the minimum a can take is 1 minimum b and c can take is 0 and 0 so 1 plus 0 plus 0 the minimum will be 1 so it's very clear that the sum should be between 1 to 27 so the only three values possible are 1 8 and 27 sum of abc will be between 1 to 27 1 8 or 27 there are only three choices it can be 
it can be 8 it can be 27 when will it become 1 the only way the sum can be 1 is when it is 1 0 0 when will it become 27 the only way it can become 27 is 9 9 and 9 ha, when can it become 8 you understand a plus b plus c is equal to 1 implies it should be 1 plus 0 plus 0 there is no other way a cannot be 0 b and c only have to be 0 a plus b plus c is equal to 9 the only way it is possible is sorry is equal to 27 the only way it is possible is 9 plus 9 plus 9 is there any other way that you can get the sum as 27 no the only way we can get the sum as 27 is when all three are equal to 9 right huh. the number of ways in which we can get 8 will be more than 1 like a plus b plus c is equal to 8 it can be let's say 1 plus 2 plus 5 or 1 plus 3 plus 4 or maybe 2 plus 2 plus 2 or it can be 1 plus 0 plus 7 and there are number of ways possible we're not worried about that but this is unique 1 is unique 27 is unique 8 is not unique 8 can come in multiple ways okay now look at statement number one. now we are going to state number one after so much of analysis and this should happen very rapidly in your mind right you will not be spending so much time in the exam in the exam you should know that the sum can be 1 or 8 or 27 and the values that a b and c can take okay look at statement number one so far i have not looked at the data only now i am going for the statements statement number one its digits are distinct what does it mean a is not equal to b is not equal to c the digits are distinct all three are different you getting it all a b and c are different all a b c are different the moment you say all a b c are different you should understand that the sum cannot be one or one is ruled out 27 is also ruled out why when you take the sum as one you know that b and c are both zeros are they distinct no when you take the sum as 27 both b and c are zeros are they distinct uh, both both a b all a b c are nines are they distinct no so both 1 and 27 are ruled out. Hence, the sum should be 8. We are able to figure out what the sum is, 8. So is statement number 1 sufficient alone? Yes. Statement 1 alone is sufficient. The moment you know digits are distinct, 1 and 27 are ruled out, the sum has to be 8. Again, what exactly are the digits is not my lookout. I am not worried about what is A, what is B and what is C. Are we worried about that? No. Remember, the question says, what is the sum of its digits? Sum is 8. Whatever be the combination, the sum is going to be 8. We will be in trouble if he says, what will be the sum of B and C? The sum of B and C, multiple values are possible. 2 plus 5, 3 plus 4, 2 plus 2, 0 plus 7. A anything is possible. But then since he is asking for the total sum, the only sum possible is 8. So statement 1 alone is sufficient. Statement 1 alone is sufficient. Right? Now the moment you know statement 1 alone is sufficient, you can cancel out option 3. Because option 3 says only 2 and only 3 are sufficient only two and only three may be sufficient that's okay but only one is also sufficient right so only one is available in option one only one is available in option two it is available in option four also because this is any one of the statements so one is sufficient let's look at statement two each digit is a natural number each digit is a natural number now the moment you say each digit is a natural number i cancel out one one is not possible sum being 1 is not possible 8 is possible 27 is also possible why am i ruling out 1 see understand natural numbers what are natural numbers natural numbers are what are natural numbers natural numbers are 1 2 and so on up to infinity numbers which can be used for counting numbers which are used for counting are natural numbers 0 is not a natural number right 0 is not a natural number so he says each digit is a natural number when he says each digit is a natural number it could be either 27 or 8. It cannot be 1. Sum cannot be 1. Because when you say sum is 1, the digits used are not natural numbers. Now the point is, by using statement 2, I cannot find out what exactly is the sum. The sum can be 8 or 27. Am I getting a unique answer? No. I was getting a unique answer for statement 1. But I am not getting a unique answer for statement 2. So 2 alone is not sufficient. 2 alone is not sufficient. 1 alone is sufficient, but 2 alone is not sufficient. So see, the moment I know 2 alone is not sufficient, this option 1 gets eliminated. Because option 1 says only 2 is sufficient. Option 4 also gets eliminated. Because option 4 says any one of the statements can be used. Any one of the statements cannot be used. I can use 1, but I cannot use 2. So already 3 options are eliminated. 1, 4 and 3 are eliminated. 
ऑप्शन टू वन ओनली और थ्री ओनली अदरवाइज ऑप्शन फाइव नंबर दिस एग्रीगेट ऑप्शन स्टेटमेंट टू इज नॉट गिविंग अज अक आंसर स्टेटमेंट टू इज ओनली टेलिंग अज दैट आंसर विल बी एट और ट्वेंटी सेवन नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट इज द हंड्रेड डिजिट इज नॉट अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर हंड्रेड डिजिट इज नॉट अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर हंड्रेड डिजिट वॉट इज हंड्रेड डिजिट हंड्रेड डिजिट इज नॉट अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर सी अंडरस्टैंड वेन यू वॉन्ट द सम टू बी वन वेन यू वॉन्ट द सम टू बी वन वॉट इज हंड्रेड डिजिट हंड्रेड डिजिट इज ए वन वेन यू वॉन्ट द सम टू बी ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑल्सो हंड्रेड डिजिट ए इज नाइन द क्वेश्चन सेज हंड्रेड डिजिट इज नॉट अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर मीनिंग इट कैन नॉट बी वन इट कैन नॉट बी ट्वेंटी सेवन बिकॉज इन वन एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन बोथ दी सम्स हंड्रेड डिजिट विल बी वन एंड नाइन रिस्पेक्टिवली विच आर परफेक्ट स्क्वायर वन इज अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर Yes or no? One is a perfect square. Nine also is a perfect square. The hundred digit is not a perfect square. So it can be, it it cannot be one. It cannot be twenty-seven. It has to be eight only. In that case, only eight is possible. Only eight is possible. Like first statement, only eight is possible.